Using inverse kinematics, also known as IK, we have the ability to create puppet-like armatures out of the various objects within our project. This lesson will provide an example of how to animate using IK. So here I have a blank stage, a blank project, and what I'm going to do is start building out some different pieces. I'm imagining some sort of a crane with a big arm. Now what's the best way to animate that? You could animate each particular piece of the crane separately, but Flash Professional CS6 gives us a tool to be able to do that very easily through inverse kinematics. So let's see how to use that. I'm going to go in and start creating some objects with my pen tool. So the first thing I'll do is start creating a base for my machine. And let's go in and change the properties of this. We'll have to fill it. And perhaps I'll make it sort of a bright gray color there. And let's see, another piece of the machine. Like this. And fill this as well. And then for the arm, I'm going to create a series of rectangles. So here's one. Here's another. And then perhaps one more small one. Like that. All right. So both of these pieces, which compose the body and treads of my machine, I'm going to create a symbol here. And this is going to be a movie clip symbol. And I'll simply call it body. And we have this portion here. So modify, convert to symbol. I'll call this arm one. I'll choose this one, modify, convert to symbol, arm two, and then the same thing with this last piece, arm three. So now these are four separate movie clip symbol instances that I can use inverse kinematics to affect. So let's actually assemble our machine. I'm going to go through and reposition this and use the transform tool to just do some basic positioning here. Oops, I didn't mean to skew that, so I'll undo. That's Control Z or Command Z on a Mac. And then we have this last piece right here. Okay, great. So there's our basic machine. All right, so to use the inverse kinematics, we have to create an armature. And the fastest way to do that is to use, over here, the bone tool. The bone tool can be used on a basic shape in order to give a shape bones. It can also be used on a series of movie clip instances, which is how we're going to actually use it in this project. So the way we do it is we start by clicking on one movie clip symbol and dragging onto another. And then we simply begin building out all of these specific bones as we work on our machine. Just like that. All right, so now we have this segmented joint here. And you'll notice down here that our original layer, which was called transformation, is now empty. And instead, we have this armature layer. So let's delete that original layer. We don't need it anymore. And our armature layer, the icon changes to what looks like a little man running. So let's go through and actually go out to maybe 65 frames here. And we're going to fill in this by inserting our frame. 
So what we want to do is actually change the animation of this object or this series of objects, this armature. So maybe we will go to around frame 20 and we'll use our selection tool to select these specific bones so that we can change the pose. So you'll notice as I'm doing this, it's, it's acting a bit weird. It's shifting the entire body as I move that arm. We don't actually want that to happen. So what we're going to do is select this specific bone right here that belongs to our body. And you'll notice that we have this joint rotation in the properties inspector. Right now that's enabled, so let's disable it. Disabling rotation for a joint will make it so anything around that joint doesn't rotate. And that's exactly what we want to happen. So let's actually pull up the arm here. And you can see as I actually move this thing around, it moves naturally as you would expect it to. So we'll move it up from there. And we can see as we scroll through that we already have this nice armature motion coming up. We'll go to frame 40. And let's do some more animation. We'll actually go down like this. And do a little scoop here. And then finish off by coming back up and maybe dumping our, our stuff. So the arm goes up, it goes down. You can imagine it scooping up some dirt, coming back up, and then dumping the dirt. So you'll notice that even though we have all of these different movie clip symbol instances, we only actually have one layer that these are all animated upon. And that's because of the armature layer. It's a special layer that can be used to animate multiple movie clip symbol instances as one armature. So it's really powerful the way you can do this. If we go to control, test movie, test, we can see that it behaves as expected in the actual Flash player itself. So this has been a lesson on how to use the bone tool in order to create an armature layer out of many movie clip symbol instances and then animate that along the timeline.